violence on University Avenue means more police patrolling the streets, what they've been dealing with and how they've been doing it. But Madison police don't believe the attack on Monte Ball was related to the crimes they've been seeing in that same area. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jennifer Hoff. Thanks for joining me tonight. Madison police releasing new details on their investigation into the attack that left Monte Ball unconscious Wednesday. A fight involving fellow UW football players may have led to that attack. Police say there was a fight last Friday involving some players and UW students. While Ball was at this fight, police say they do not believe he was involved. Police did not say where the fight took place and didn't reveal any other names involved. They are looking into whether charges should be filed in this incident. As for their investigation into Ball's attack, police say there are several persons of interest. Video evidence and interviews are providing police with many leads, but they say they can always use more information. We're asking people to please step forward and uh, be responsible about this because that information is, is vital to our investigation. Police say all UW players and the athletic department are cooperating. After today's report that some football players were involved, the athletics department gave no comment to News 3. However, head coach Brett Bielema says he hopes Ball's assailants will be found. To several kids on our team exactly what this could you know correlate to any information we've got obviously we just pass it on immediately to the police and you know who hopefully ever did this uh, justice can be served Bielema spoke thursday for a taping of sidelines you can catch that entire broadcast right after this newscast at 10 35. police chief noble ray did say ball's attack does not fit the pattern of violence that we've seen in recent weeks that violence is prompting more police patrols around University Avenue during the late night hours. And we sent News 3's Danica Lewis to find out more about the additional forces. She joins us now with that story, Danica. Well, good evening to you, Jennifer. We're not just talking about an increase in the number of incidents here, but batteries around University Avenue and State Street are also getting more severe. Now, after dealing with shootings and stabbings as well, Madison police hope there is power in numbers, especially when people are out on full force on the weekends. Sidewalks full of bar goers. How are you doing, guys? You might spot a few more badges watching over the crowds. We find that high visibility sometimes will make people think a little before they react. With a spike in serious assaults downtown, Lieutenant Tim Paragoy says seven additional officers are on duty, sometimes more, focusing on this section of University Avenue. Just looking for anybody that's it's down here not really enjoying the nightlife that you can have downtown, but really looking for trouble. The increased presence started up before Badger running back Monte Ball was attacked Wednesday. Police now say that was not a random act of violence. Some of Ball's teammates were in a fight just a few days before. Most incidents Paragoy and his partner deal with aren't planned. Totally innocent person that is just minding their own business and then they get they get hit. They look for big groups blocking foot traffic to and from taverns. Are they intimidating the people? Are they making the people walk around them? Why are people fighting all the time? I don't know. Madeline Snedecker often makes sandwiches on the late night shift. She's seen fights break out right outside of the shop and says it makes for a nerve wracking walk home from work. It just seems like there's a lot more fights and violence going on, so I don't really know how they can combat that. Paragoy says more police patrol is at least a place to start. You can still have a very good time. It's just that you got to be careful about your surroundings. Now, as we mentioned, efforts to crack down on downtown violence were boosted before Ball was attacked in response to that incident and the general increase of fights in the area. Lieutenant Paraguay tells me it's not as bad as some people think. Those looking to have a good time just need to watch out for those larger groups and be extra cautious. Jennifer. Good advice, Danica. Thanks for following up on this.